Before the video starts, if you want to go straight to the tutorial, down below in the description I left the timestamp so you can click on it and go straight to the tutorial. If you want to watch the whole thing, it starts here. On the couch. Well, not really. Since it looks like I won't be able to move for a bit, let me show you a couple of things that I've been working on that are quite fun. We're going to need the computer and Photoshop. I have a Stone Age version of Photoshop, I think it's a CS4, but I'm going to show you that with this one it's also possible. Let's start with this wonderful photo from Brian McDonald. This is my friend Melanie, this is me. Alright, let's get to it. First, duplicate the layer, you press Command plus J twice. I'll name the layer Clear Background. Then hide the top layer and the background. In Photoshop CS4 we don't have the fill content aware, so we have to remove the dancers by cloning the background. Select the Clone Stamp tool and start cloning. Now we have the background clear, we have the dancers, select the quick selection tool and select the models. If you hold the shift key you can release the mouse and then just keep adding bit by bit. Nice, we have the dancer selected. You want to go and click layer mask. Right click on the layer, apply layer mask, command J to duplicate the layer. I'll name this one Effect, I'll name the other one Model. Click the Effect layer, go to Filter and Liquify. Now make sure you have selected the Forward Warp tool. This is going to establish how big or how much space the effect will take. Warp the subject you want to apply the effect to. Now select the effect layer and hold ALT and click on the layer mask. This is going to create a black layer mask. Now select the subject layer and click on layer mask. This is going to make a white mask. Select the brush tool and make sure the color is set to black. Now pick a brush you want to work with. I'll link all the brushes down below in the description for free. Open the brush panel. In CS4 you have to press the F4. Rotate and change brushes to create a dynamic effect and experiment, just play with it. And start applying the effect. Let's speed up this process because this is the most time consuming part. Nice, now select the effect layer and change the brush color to white. This will add all the floating particles. Very important to know when to stop, you don't want to overdo it. Now we can clean up a little bit the mess we made in these sections that we actually want to keep as they were. Set the color of the brush to white. And see here? By selecting before, I kind of cut her leg, so let's fix that. You want to select the background layer and make a copy, so Command J. Now select this layer and hold Alt and layer mask. Now select the white color and a brush and paint over this little section that we forgot. Boom, fixed. And the effect is done. 
Now you can add a gradient if you like to unify the whole thing. You can just experiment a little bit. And bring the opacity down. And done. And that's pretty much it. It's not that complex. It's time consuming, but complex, it's not. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.